24秒22秒後、震度1、20秒、18秒、16秒、14秒、12秒後、震度1、10、9、8、7、6、5、4、3、2、1、0。Earthquake early warning is the rapid detection of an earthquake as it begins, and then the prediction of the strength of shaking that will follow. By doing this much more rapidly than we have done in the past, we can now get a warning to people before they start to feel the shaking. This warning might be a few seconds, a few tens of seconds, up to a minute or two before the shaking starts. This means that people can take actions to reduce the effect of the earthquake on themselves and others around them. Japan has the first sophisticated early warning system because they have such a high danger of earthquakes. It's a very well built country, but it's a country built on many、uh, active faults. In 1995, a Kobe earthquake, which killed six or seven thousand people and cost upward of a hundred billion dollars, and it just reminded them that they need to prepare for earthquakes. The terrible events of the magnitude 9 earthquake in Japan remind us all of the impact of these large earthquakes. But what was also interesting about that event was that an earthquake early warning was issued. In the city of Sendai, the largest city close to the epicenter, cell phones started to ring and sirens started to wail in schools. This was the result of the early warning system that was put in place back in 2007. Earthquake early warning is possible because when an earthquake ruptures a fault plane, the energy radiates in two forms. The P waves travel fastest through the Earth's subsurface and reach the surface first, but have very little shaking associated with them. The S waves travel at a little more than half the speed of the P waves and carry most of the damaging energy. So, what we do is we use seismic instruments at the surface of the Earth to detect the P waves. Gather the information stored in the P waves and predict the strength of shaking that we expect to follow. We can use this to start to slow and stop trains, to tell planes to go around rather than landing during the earthquake. Sensitive facilities such as nuclear power plants can shut down, chemical processing facilities can isolate hazardous chemicals, and again, workers in these sites can move to a safe zone. Elevators can stop at the next floor and open doors so that people don't get trapped in the elevators during the shaking. The West Coast has several kinds of faults. It's really shot full of faults, but there's two main ways the faulting happens in big earthquakes. South of Cape Mendocino in California is the San Andreas Fault System. It runs all the way down into Mexico and beyond. We look north of Cape Mendocino, we're looking at the Cascadia subduction zone. Where、uh, oceanic plate is pushed under continental plate along the coastline to include the stretch up by Portland, Oregon,、uh, Seattle, and Vancouver. The earthquake networks we have on the west coast are centered in three places. Here in Seattle, at the University of Washington, there's a branch in the Bay Area, which is、uh, joint between the USGS in Menlo Park and the、uh, University of California at Berkeley. In Southern California, there's a collaboration between the USGS in Pasadena and Caltech. But over the past decade, we've all kind of come together under the Advanced National Seismic System umbrella and said, okay, let's stop doing one offs. Let's start developing information that we can share with everyone. Here in the Pacific Northwest, we've mainly been laying out a traditional seismic network. Right now, our early warning is 15 minutes after the earthquake,、uh, which is good for some emergency management、uh, knowledge of、uh, what's happened. but... Doesn't warn anybody ahead of time. The west coast of the U.S., we think a system of earthquake early warning would cost roughly one or two hundred million dollars plus on the order of ten million a year to keep in operation. It could give three, maybe even four minutes of warning in a best case scenario for a subduction zone earthquake here in Seattle, or our ten to thirty seconds for a shallow or deep earthquake somewhere in the region.、Uh, many of the earthquakes on the west coast can only give a Few seconds of warning, so every second counts. A lot of people hear 10 seconds warning and think, well, I'd like to have 10 seconds warning, but I don't want to pay $100 million for 10 seconds warning. 
Our immediate hurdle is uh, finances. Earthquake funding tends to come after earthquakes. So this year is a hot year for earthquake funding because we've had the earthquake in Japan and last year we had the earthquake in Chile. And just a few years ago, we had another large earthquake in Sumatra. All those are similar to the earthquake we expect sooner or later here in the Pacific Northwest. Legislators are much more convinced when something actually happens than when people tell them something is going to happen. So now is the time when everyone realizes this is a real threat because we really want to reach all the people if we're putting out a system. We don't want to put out a system that just a few people can use. We'd like to do what the Japanese are doing, have it in the cell phones as a mandatory alarm that goes off whenever an earthquake is detected and it's appropriate. We'd like to have loudspeakers out in public areas where a warning is important. And we'd like to have it show up on TV screens and computer monitors. So why don't we have an early warning system in the US? In order to have one, we need the investment to have the seismic and other geophysical networks across earthquake-prone regions in order to be able to rapidly and robustly detect earthquakes and provide a warning. That requires funding. At the moment, most of the funding for regional networks comes from federal and state support. So we're probably looking at, uh, at roughly five years if funded before we're really ready to roll out a completely operational system. It's too soon to tell if they'll really spend the one or two hundred million in the next few years, but there's a lot more enthusiasm now than there was just a month ago.